Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Valorant episode 9 act 3 with new engine. A lot of things are going on and I hope this guy helps here. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, press settings on your keyboard and then go over to settings. Then head over to gaming over game bar and then turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage and disabling so will help you to improve your PC's performance. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things and services off in the background, giving you a better gaming experience. Go back to gaming, right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, click on that and you'll find in change default graphic settings. Click over there and enable optimizations for windowed games. This will help you to reduce your input latency while you're playing the games. Go back to graphics, click on the browse button and then look for Valorant over here. Once you find your game, select it and click on add. Head over to options, select high performance and then click on save. This will utilize your GPU to render the game. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that go over to the download location of your game. Once you're over here, right click on your game, go over to properties, click on compatibility and then disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high DPI settings and select override high DPI scaling behavior. Go over to Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64 and find Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to Properties, go to Compatibility and do the same once again. Once that is done, click on OK. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for a local disk C. Click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant Episode 9 Act 3 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In the FPS pack, you'll find in six simple four Folders. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority and do the same if you have an Intel CPU priority. Second folder is an optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM registries. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run this registry for my PC. Could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your PC. And once again, if that doesn't work out as intended, you guys can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is Valorant priority in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. Once again, I want you guys to leave your PC specs in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth is unwanted services and over here I have left a lot of services that you can disable to improve your PC's performance and I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them but if you use any Bluetooth devices do not disable this one. Once again if you want to revert any of them back to normal use the revert registry folder to do so. Next is badge tweaks in which I have left BCD tweaks and latency tweaks. Both of them will help you to reduce the input latency. Disable a memory compression. This will help you to increase your FPS by disabling a memory compression where your memory is used and next is a process mitigation will help you to improve your CPU's performance. All of them you can edit in Notepad to see the changes that it will do on your PC and it will help you to run a few commands that will help your PC. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch. You have to right click and run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to continue. You can just do it and it will start deleting all temporary files from your PC. It's completely safe to do so. Next is quickcpu.msi. This is a setup file. You can install it on your PC and open up quick CPU. Once it opens up over here, you have to click on the maximum performance over here and then click on accept. This will set up the correct power plan on your PC and then you have to make sure that Core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance, all of them sliders should be set to 100%. Click on apply and then close this. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on custom. Then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All four of them will help you to deanimate your windows, remove unnecessary animations and keep your windows look intact. Next step is right in the advanced tab over here which is a virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then for the custom size set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator. To calculate this you have to multiply your RAM with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM so I have to multiply that and the new value should be divided by 2. Now this value has to be pasted in the maximum size and then click on set. Click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Click on ok. Next step is disabling unwanted start 
startup applications from your PC and for that press control shift and escape all together and this will open up task manager. Head over to the startup apps section over here and start disabling all unwanted applications that you do not want to boot since the boot of your PC. This will help you to reduce your PC's booting time and this will also help you to reduce the number of applications running on your It will make your windows very light and you can also feel performance improvement on regular usage. Next step is fixing all of your input lag, ping issues, latency issues using no ping. It's a free to use tool that you guys can download from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, you guys can see an interface like this. Simply search for the game that you want to play. In my scenario, I'm going to be searching for Valorant. Click on the select the server button. Over here, look for the nearest region to you. For me, it will be Mumbai 02 as it is giving me the least amount of ping. As soon as I click on optimize this game, it will one click optimize my game with the best ping possible. No ping acts as a VPN which connects your PC straight to the game servers allowing you to improve your ping, reduce your packet loss, latency and so much more. The best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games to improve your keyboard response time and reduce your input latency and after that click on the boost FPS button over here and then select all of these settings to improve your in-game FPS. I personally use no ping myself and I have seen the difference. I highly suggest you guys to check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is Valorant config settings and for that you have to press windows and R key together and then type in app data. Once you're here go over to local and then look for Valorant. Once you find your Valorant folder, go over to saved and then look for config. Click on date modified and this will set the latest modified file from your PC. Open that up, head over to windows and then you'll find game user settings.ini. Right click on that, head over to notepad and then you have to change a few settings right over here. Firstly is be use vsync, you have to set this thing to false. Audio quality level should be set to zero. Use dynamic resolution should be set to false. Frame rate limit, this should be set to three FPS lower than your monitor refresh rate. I have a 240 hertz refresh rate monitor, so the value should be 237. It could be different for you, so if you have a 60 hertz monitor, you have to set this thing to 57. If you have a 75 hertz monitor, you have to set this thing to 72. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, you have to set this thing to 141. This refresh rate locking will help you to keep your FPS logged and it will also help you constant frame rate and improved stability. This will fix screen tearing, stuttering and a lot more. Then over here in the scalability group, you have to set your view distance quality. Set this thing to 1, anti-aliasing 1, shadow quality 1, post processing quality 1, texture quality 2, effects quality 1, foliage quality 1, shading quality 1. Once you're done with that, press Ctrl and S key together and then close this setting. Right click on your game user settings, head over to properties and then select read only. This will prevent your game to override these settings and change them according to you. After that, click on apply. Once you're done with that, simply close it. Once you're done with all of these settings, head over to your game and enjoy the best FPS possible from your PC. I hope this guide helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We have also rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider joining the membership because it helps me grow the channel. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.